Let's get some conference football now and Stevenage have moved to the top of the table after beating Cambridge 4-1. It was the home side who went ahead after 25 minutes in. Yemi Udabadi with his seventh goal of the season. It was then Danny Crow who levelled for Cambridge seven minutes before half-time. Before Lee Boyan put Stevenage back in front in half first half injury time five minutes after the break it was 3-1 Chris Beardsley with a goal and just after the half hour it was four Boylan with his second of the game and this against his old club So Cambridge's sorry afternoon was complete three minutes from the end when Brian Saar was sent off. That was a second yellow card he received. A good day for Stevenage, though. They go top of the table. Psychologically, I guess it's um, never a bad thing. The players are obviously going to go in confidence from, from that factor. But uh, it's, it's three more points. Others haven't played, so we're there by default. Um, we won't get carried away. How do you feel about the 4-1 scoreline and the way the team played today? I think in the second half we asserted some real physical authority on the game. Uh, a lot of energy, um, played some really good football and scored some tremendous goals, so enjoyable to watch. Well, three of the games beat the weather. Crawley were 2-0 uh, winners at Eastbourne Borough. Ebbsfleet beat fellow strugglers Greys 3-0. All their goals were, came in the first half and Hayes and Yedding were 1-0 winners over AFC Wimbledon. So, Stevenage moved to the top of the table, but they've played three more games than Oxford. AFC Wimbledon stay in the final playoff place despite losing at Hayes today. Crawley stay 10th after beating Eastbourne and Cambridge remain 12th. Let's have a look at the bottom then. Epsilete's win over Greys means that they're now just a point behind Eastbourne. Hayes move up to 14th after their win 